The Hunger Games! I know this is the video that all of you were expecting. I mean, I mean, it was obvious, right? I mean, at some point, I, I had to make a video on the Hunger Games. It's just, it's just so obvious. So I was watching a video by Technoblade the other day, and there's this website where you can basically simulate your own Hunger Games. You can put in your own contestants and basically watch them duke it out until only one's standing. And I was like, okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. So I'm going to be doing it on my own with my own set of contestants. We're going to be seeing who survives and who wins the Hunger Games. So so, allow for me to introduce to you the contestants of The Hungry Games! Yeah, clever title, I know, right? Each district will be representing a certain franchise or theme that I find interesting. So in District 1 we have Shrek and Donkey. Great, right? I mean, obviously they're gonna participate in The Hunger Games. Now, who will Shrek and Donkey be competing against? Well, in District 2, we have their next competitors, Sans and Papyrus from Undertale. Yeah! How could it get better than this? Well, let's go to District 3, Phineas and Ferb! That's right, Phineas and Ferb are in the Hunger Games. Wow, so cool! And how could we have a Hunger Games without District 4? Mario and Luigi, everyone's favorite plumber fighting brother people. And Luigi's icon is from Luigi's Mansion 3, so, you know, to fit the mood. Yeah! And who's this? Rolling around at the speed of sound in District 5 is Sonic and his best friend Tails! I wonder if they're, they're gonna win. Yeah. <laughs> Up next in District 6 we have Bob the Tomato and Larry the Cucumber. You might be wondering how are they gonna fight if they don't have any hands? I don't know either. Let's just see what happens. All right, I'm already picturing a complaint that I'm probably gonna get in the comments. Why are there no girls? There are no girls in your Hunger Games. Aren't there supposed to be the girls? You need the female representation. Well, don't worry. I got you covered. Because in District 7, we have everyone's favorite princesses, Anna and Elsa from the hit movie Frozen and Frozen 2 and Frozen 3, which will probably happen. So, so yeah, that's them. And Anna's picture looks a little weird. Is that just me? I'm sure you're all very familiar with our District 8 competitors. We have the guy who lives in a pineapple under the sea, SpongeBob SquarePants, and his best friend Squidward. They'll be teaming up to win the Hunger Games with the power of the imagination and handsomeness. Yeah. In District 9 is the famous cowboy and space ranger team up of Woody and Buzz Lightyear. And I'm assuming that they're, they're full-size people in these tournaments and not actual toy sized because then that'd be very unfair so yeah did someone say more nintendo characters okay district 10 has link and zelda from from the legend of zelda and, and yeah they're here whoa hey marvel movies are cool iron man and captain america are in district 11 and yeah that that's them even though they both died in endgame i guess captain america didn't die but yeah they're here whoa now district 12 is probably a pretty obvious one. I'm assuming all of you guys had a feeling this would show up at some point. And yes, they're here. Dora the Explorer and Boots are in the Hunger Games. I mean, that was the most obvious choice out of all of them, right? So, yeah. So here you are, the 24 contestants of these Hungry Games. Who do you have your bets on winning? Comment down below. And, uh, I, let's see, who am I betting on winning? Um, I don't know. I gotta go with Larry the Cucumber, man. I mean, with that sombrero, I, I just have a feeling he's gonna rock this entire game. Without further ado, let the Hungry Games begin! <laughs> Proceed. The Hungry Games begin with the bloodbath. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Alright, so this is the beginning of the Hunger Games, where there's all that stuff in the middle, some people like run to get stuff in the middle, and some people run out into the woods. So let's see what happens. Luigi kills Woody with his own weapon. Oh boy guys, we have our first casualty. Woody is dead. Luigi killed him. Oh man. Shrek rips a mace out of Buzz Lightyear's hands. Link and Captain America fight for a bag. Captain America gives up and retreats. Oh yeah, go Link! Show, show that Captain America who's boss. Mario and Tails both run away from the cornucopia, however you say that. Donkey stabs Iron Man while his back is turned. Oh, Donkey just killed Iron Man. What is going on? 
SpongeBob and Larry the Cucumber fight for a bag. SpongeBob gives up and retreats. Yeah, go Larry! Go Larry! Yay! Anna rips a mace out of Phineas's hands. Oh, come on, Phineas. You let her rip a mace out of your hands. Shame on you. Squidward grabs a jar of fishing bait while Bob the Tomato gets fishing gear. Okay, so they both got fishing stuff. That's cool. All right, looks like Sans, Zelda, Papyrus, Elsa, and Dora all retreated from the cornucopia. So, okay, they're all safe for now. Sonic finds a canteen full of water. Good for him. Boots finds Ferb hiding in the cornucopia, but Ferb kills him. Oh no, Ferb just killed Boots. <laughs> Oh boy, Ferb is a man of few words, but he makes up for it for his actions. Proceed? Uh, I'm a little scared to proceed at this point. <laughs> okay. Hunger Games, day one. Anna overpowers Buzz Lightyear, killing him. <laughs> oh boy, alright. Maybe Anna is a pretty big threat to deal with. I didn't know she could actually um, kill Buzz Lightyear. Donkey runs away from Sonic. I don't know if you're gonna get far, Donkey. Sonic is kind of sort of the fastest thing alive. Squidward scares Dora the Explorer off. I mean, yeah, that face would probably we scare anyone off. Ferb, Mario, Sans, Captain America, and SpongeBob hunt for other tributes. All right, we have a team forming. We got, we got these five as a, a legendary team. I mean, this is my dream team right here. Oh no, it's an arena event. Okay, so these like random events that can happen in the arena. And okay, yeah, this can kind of be chaotic. A fire spreads throughout the arena. Phineas survives. Ferb survives. Link survives. Donkey survives. Elsa survives. Bob the Tomato and Anna fail to find a safe spot and suffocate. Oh no, Bob and Anna are dead. Oh boy. Sonic survives. Good, he probably outran the fire. Sans and Tails fail to find a safe spot and suffocate. No, Sans, Tails, they're both dead. Oh no. Captain America survives. All right. Squidward falls to the ground, but kicks Zelda hard enough to push her into the fire. So wait, Zelda dies, but does Squidward die too? I, I don't know, but okay, Zelda's dead. All right. Papyrus survives. The fire catches up to Mario, killing him. Oh no. Shrek survives. That's good. That's good. A fireball strikes Dora the Explorer, killing her. I'm on Honestly not sad. Larry the Cucumber survives! Let's go! The fire catches up to Spongebob, killing him. No, Spongebob! The fire catches up to Luigi, killing him. No, not Luigi! I like Luigi more than Mario. 13 cannon shots can be heard in the distance. 13 cannon shots! That's over half of the contestants! Alright, we shall have a memorial service for all of those who have fallen so far. Rest in peace to Woody, Iron Man, Boots, Buzz Lightyear, Bob the Tomato, Anna, Sans, Tails, Zelda, Mario, Dora the Explorer, Spongebob, and Luigi. All right, let's see the status of everyone so far. Like, who's alive? Okay, both of our District 1 representatives are alive, and Donkey's got a kill. Uh, Sans is dead, but Papyrus is still representing them. Phineas and Ferb are both still alive, and Ferb's got a kill. Both Mario and Luigi are dead. Sonic is still alive. Larry the Cucumber is also still alive. Good, he's my, he's my vote to win. Elsa is also alive, Squidward is still alive with the kill, but he has to represent Spongebob now, Link is alive, and Captain America is alive. Alright, so let us go on to day two and see what other fun stuff happens. Alright, it's the first night. Squidward and Captain America talk about the tributes that are still alive. Oh yes, I can picture it now. Squidward and Captain America just sitting by the fire, talking about everyone who's still alive. It's a very realistic scene. Ferb tends to Larry the Cucumber's wounds. Yes! Thank you, Ferb. Thank you for helping Larry the Cucumber. I mean, Larry can't really tend his own wounds since, you know, no, no hands. Shrek cooks his food before putting his fire out. Alright, I, I wonder what Shrek cooks. Uh, it's probably disgusting. Alright, the night is over and it is on to the day. Captain America tracks down and kills Phineas. No! Captain America just killed Phineas! Ah! Uh. Both Ferb and Sonic injure themselves. Okay. Elsa, Link, Shrek, and Squidward hunt for other tributes. Okay, so they're all teamed up now, I guess. Papyrus searches for a water source, and Larry finds a river. Okay, cool. Sorry, Papyrus. Looks like Larry's a little bit ahead of you on that. One cannon shot can be heard in the distance. Okay, so the Phineas is the only person that died today. Okay, interesting. Elsa screams for help. From what? She just, she just screams for help for no reason? She's like, HELP ME HELP! And then someone comes like, what's the problem? And she's like, uh, nothing, I'm just screaming for help. Donkey and Fur run into each other and decide to choose for the night. Alright, good for them. Sonic and Shrek work together to drown Captain America. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe they should have tried drowning Sonic, cause like he he can't swim. That that probably would have worked much better. Or you know what? Sonic probably hasn't told him. So Shrek's like, hey, we should go drown Captain America, and then Sonic's like, oh yeah, yeah, sure, let, let's go drown Captain America. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Squidward destroys Link's supply while he's asleep. Oh, that's a mean Squidward. Larry the Cucumber tries to treat his infection, but again fails, because no hands. Alright, the feast. The cornucopia is replenished with food supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families. Squidward decides not to go to the feast. Link also decides not to go to the feast. But whoa, whoa, whoa what is this? Shrek, Sonic, Elsa, Larry the Cucumber, and Donkey track down and kill Ferb. Whoa, what is this? The five of them teamed up to go kill Ferb. They must really not like Ferb. Okay. And then Papyrus also decides not to go to the feast. Now time for day three. Sonic is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Aw, oh, poor Sonic. Larry the Cucumber stalks Link. Oh boy, that's just scary. Just like Link is walking through the forest and he just sees a pair of cucumber eyes just like staring out at him. Oh boy, that'd be creepy. Papyrus and Squidward decide to work together for the day. That's cool. And Donkey makes a slingshot, but he doesn't have any hands. How does he? Has hooves! You can't fire a slingshot with hooves! Alright, today we lost Captain America and Ferb. How sad. Let's see who's left. Shrek and Donkey are both still alive and they've each got two kills. Papyrus is alive. Both Phineas and Ferb are dead, so their district is out. Sonic is alive with two kills. Larry the Cucumber is alive with one kill. Elsa's got a kill. Squidward's got a kill. And Link is alive with no kills. So, okay, that's interesting. So Link and Papyrus are the only two that haven't had a kill yet. So interesting. We'll see if that pays off or not. Shrek severely injures Donkey and leaves him to die. What? I thought they were teammates! They're both from the same district! Shrek just left Donkey for dead! <laughs> Actually, you know what? I, I'm not surprised. I honestly could understand Shrek doing that. Sonic destroys Link's supplies while he's asleep. Didn't that happen earlier? Didn't Squidward destroy Link's supplies? Oh man, Link is not having it out easy. Papyrus silently snaps Link's neck. Oh! Uh-huh. Mm. Mmm, okay, okay, Papyrus, I see. You're finally making your move. Oh no, it's an arena event. A volcano erupts at the center of the arena. Okay, let's see who survives. Papyrus survives. Larry the Cucumber survives. As Shrek trips over Sonic into the lava, he grabs him and pulls him down with him. Oh boy, Shrek and Sonic just both got dead. Squidward survives and Elsa is buried in ash. Oh, harsh. All right, we had five deaths today. We have Donkey, Link, Shrek, Sonic, and Elsa. Both Donkey and Shrek died today. Their entire district is out. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Things are getting interesting. We only have three people left. Papyrus, Larry the Cucumber, and Squidward. They are our three finalists, guys. Larry the Cucumber is still in this. I'm so excited. I might actually be right. Please, Larry, you've got this. Everyone's got one kill, so it's, it's a pretty fair game at this point. So let's just see what happens. Night four. Larry the Cucumber falls into a frozen lake and drowns. What? No, Larry, no. But I, I guess he can't swim because he doesn't have hands. Oh, the whole, the whole no hands thing finally, finally got to him. No, what a no, no. Papyrus shoots an arrow into Squidward's head. Papyrus just goes Squidward. Wait, that means, that means the winner is Papyrus. Papyrus won the Hungry Games! Congratulations, my skeleton man! You have done it! <laughs> oh man, okay then! The, the congratulations, Papyrus! You, you, you did it! You actually won! That's, that's great! <laughs> Alright, here it is! The winner is Papyrus, second place Squidward, third place Larry the Cucumber, fourth place Elsa, and fifth place Sonic. Oh wow, that was so stupid, but also so fun at the same time. Oh, look at that poor Woody, 24th place. He died at the very beginning. Oh. Papyrus was able to avenge his brother Sans, who only got 18th place, but it, I thought it was supposed to be the other way around in the story, but okay, sure. Oh, this is cool. The statistics, they can show you who had the most kills. So Shrek had the most kills. He had three kills, and then Papyrus and Sonic both had two, and Donkey also had two. And then there were some people with one kill. That's interesting. So Shrek had the most kills, but he didn't even get top five. I think he got sixth place. Yeah, he was number six. That's very interesting. All right. Okay. All right. So uh, last place district was district nine. So th their team overall performed the worst. Which one was district nine? Oh, district nine was Toy Story. Oh, because Buzz and Woody, they both did really bad. All right. 
Well, you know what? Maybe they were just regular toy size, because, yeah, they, they, they did awful. Uh -huh. All right, I guess with this, the Hungry Games are over, and so is this video. Thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun with this, and I hope you did, too. If you want to see more Hunger Games videos, just let me know in the comments, and I'd be happy to do them. And if you have character recommendations and stuff like that, also let me know. So, yeah, uh, I guess that is it. Um, congratulations again to Papyrus for winning the whole thing, and I I will see you guys next time.